in the end, what have we seen over the past decade of the internet development? We've seen banks willing to back what were often, on the surface, quite marginal projects uh, in the hope that they would come good and they could afford to do that. And I suspect those are exactly the sort of projects that have boosted the internet over the past decade that are going to find it very difficult now. Every banking gamble is a risk. You never know which horse is going to come home and they'd be willing to back a lot of horses in the internet hoping they'd come home. Uh, and I think that is clearly diminishing. Uh, Petron. Um, good morning. Just a brief uh, contribution for um, the list of issues that could be put on the agenda of next year's IGF because it's also one of the uh, useful outcomes of this session. First of all, to say that uh, I fully support UNESCO's comment about the item access to public information and access to scientific uh, information that is very important. Uh, the second thing uh, Herbert mentioned, uh, the notion of convergence. I think we should pay more attention to the policy implications of convergence, including in the different type of tools and devices. And finally, um, we are moving from the internet, we have moved from the internet to the World Wide Web, and when people talk about the internet, they mostly mean the World Wide Web today. The emergence of social networks is actually bringing us to the next stage where we have the internet as an infrastructure, the World Wide Web as the connectivity of databases, and the social net, which is the interconnection of groups. And the convergence between groups and feeds, like Twitter or that sort of thing, is bringing the social net. I want to raise this because there is an issue that could be formulated as the governance slash social net interaction, which means governance of the social net. We had a few items about child porn, and there's IPR questions and so on. There's the governance within the social net. What are the rights of the members of the social network when you have 100 million? And how are those rules established, like the right to retrieve your data? And third, which is something very interesting for uh, the forum itself, is uh, governance through the social net networks. How can the social networking tools help things like the Internet Governance Forum work better, exchange, and interrelate between the different forums that are emerging uh, and to deal with those issues. So that's all. Thank you.